Okay, so while Elvis was here, he attempted to go to a different place to stay to keep from being mobbed, which was Porter Avenue. So we're going to start over to Porter. We do not have a street number, but we have a what I think is a photograph. And you can see it's relatively close to June's house. And we're going to go from there. Where's he buried? Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Okay, so he's close. We're going to do that when we go back over yonder. So she's still sharp. Oh, yes, yeah, very. But she's still not giving in and going, oh, well, let me, you know, I offered her to get her in the house because I thought maybe she'd like to see in it again. But she confirmed that that's mama's bedroom. So she confirmed some stuff for us. And she said on Porter, it was between a street and the curve. Eight tenths of a mile didn't seem like far, but it's a long ways when you have to stop every yeah. two seconds. So this is Porter and this is not Wagner. <laughs> <clears throat> You're not supposed to laugh at the jokes. Let them laugh. Hey, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm watching this as like y'all are watching this too. I'm just doing it in live. <clears throat> well, not Memorex. Yeah, Memorex. That's it. No, live, not Memorex. You don't remember the commercials? You no, probably I don't, don't man. You're doing. you're youngin'. Good lord. All right, so we're gonna spend some time. She said it was between uh, something and the curve. Here's the curve. There's Balboa, and it wasn't Balboa and the curve. So, I have a photograph. Is this still Porter over here? Boy, the street signs are messed up over here. DeSoto, we're still on Porter. Yeah, this is still Porter. But she mentioned the curve. It's that house right there. No. <laughs> I mean, he could afford that at some point. She said LaSalle and the curve, I believe. And that last street was LaSalle. So she said LaSalle and the, I believe she said LaSalle. Okay, so let me stop. Yeah, you need to look at the picture. And look at the photograph. There's the curve up there. Mm -hmm. All right, stay tuned. And look, I understand. We're asking her to, to recall things that happened. That's why I wish she was with us. Yeah. It would help. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna of course it. push the, the thing. So friends, this is Porter Avenue. And at some point, June said, you know, we need a place for Elvis to stay that people won't overrun him. He was staying at the Sun and Sands Motel down the beach, and the fans were just all in the parking lot, riding on his car, putting their uh, phone numbers on his car and stuff. So yeah, they was, were writing their phone numbers all over his he car. He was very frustrated one evening. So they came up with, uh, it was Bellman that had a rental house, right? Mr. Bell. And they yes. came up with a house, and it looked very similar to this one. I don't think it is that one, but it looked very similar, and it was definitely on this street. But June cannot recall the number of the house, and we couldn't find any information about it. But I'll show you the photo that I have of it. The problem with the photo in that house is the, uh, the porch is different. The mailbox is on the other side. The outside light is on the other side. Other than that, it matches but we don't find a house on this street. We've been from one end to the other that matches. But anyway, they stayed there for a short period of time and were mobbed here as well. So then he went on to uh, the ranch that we're going to show you, which is uh, was kind of a, a hotel and a ranch all together. So friends, this is Robertson and Porter Avenue right here. You can see the train tracks here. The ocean is down there. That's 90. Mr. Bellman 
had a rental house that was fully furnished that was on this corner right here. And that's where they left the sun and sand and stried, tried to stay in this house. But people mobbed them here too. Unfortunately, the house is gone. But they were mobbed right here. And so from here is where they went out to Gulf Hills. But this is where the house was on this corner. And I got that information from Pat. She remembered exactly where it was. Thank you.